Fairy Tales, страница 233. The History of Tom Thumb. История Тома Тамба. Тома Большого Пальца. In the days of the great King Arthur. В одни великого короля Артура. They lived a mighty magician. Жил могущественный волшебник. Code Merlin по имени названный Мерлин. The most learned and skillful enchanter. Самый ученый и умелый заклинатель. The world has ever seen, которого когда-либо видел мир. This famous magician, этот знаменитый маг, who could take any form he pleased, который мог принимать любую форму, которую он желал, was traveling about as a poor beggar, Путешествовал по миру вокруг, как бедный попрошайка. And being very tired и будучи очень усталым, he stopped at the cottage of a plowman. Он остановился в домике пахаря to rest himself, отдохнуть, and asked for some food и попросил какой-нибудь пищи. The countryman bade him welcome. Крестьянин сказал ему добро пожаловать. And his wife, а его жена, who was a very good-hearted woman, которая была очень добросердечной женщиной, soon brought him some milk. Скоро принесла ему немного молока. To bring, приносить in a wooden bowl, в деревянной миске, And some coarse brown bread on a platter. И немного грубого черного хлеба на блюде. Страница 234. Magician, enchanter, plowman. In the days of the great King Arthur, there lived a mighty magician called Merlin, the most learned and skillful enchanter the world has ever seen. This famous magician, who could take any form he pleased, was traveling about as a poor beggar, and being very tired, he stopped at the cottage of a plowman to rest himself and asked for some food. The countryman bade him welcome, and his wife, who was a very good-hearted woman, soon brought him some milk in a wooden barrel, and some coarse brown bread on a platter. Merlin was much pleased with the kindness of the plow man and his wife. Merlinu была очень приятна доброта пахаре и его жены, but he could not help noticing, но он не мог не заметить, that though everything was neat and comfortable in the cottage, что хотя все было приятно и удобно в домике, They both seemed to be very unhappy. Они оба казались быть очень несчастными. He therefore asked them. Он поэтому спросил их, why they were so melancholy. Почему они были такие меланхоличные, угрюмые? And learned that they were miserable. И узнал, что они были несчастны. Because they had no children потому что они не имели детей. The poor woman said with tears in her eyes, бедная женщина сказала со слезами в ее глазах, I should be the happiest creature in the world if I had a son. Я была бы счастливейшим существом в мире, если бы у меня был сын. Although he was no bigger than my husband's thumb, I would be satisfied. Хоть он был бы не больше, чем большой палец моего мужа, я была бы довольна. Comfortable, melancholy, miserable, thumb. Merlin was much pleased with the kindness of the plow man and his wife, but he could not help noticing that, though everything was neat and comfortable in the cottage, they both seemed to be very unhappy. He therefore asked them, 
why the, why they were so melancholy and learned that they were miserable because they had no children the poor woman said with tears in her eyes i should be the happiest creature in the world if i had a son although he was no bigger than my husband's thumb i would be satisfied uh, merlin was so much amused with the idea of a boy no bigger than a man's thumb merlin был так позабавлен мыслью о мальчике не больше чем человеческий большой палец that he determined to grant the poor woman's wish что он решил исполнить желание бедной женщины accordingly соответственно in a short time after скоро в короткое время после the plow man's wife had a son жена пахаря родила сына who wonderful to relate который чудесно рассказать удивительно такое рассказывать was not a bit bigger был ни чуточку не больше than his father's thumb чем большой палец его отца the queen of the fairies королева фей wishing to see the little fellow желая увидеть маленького паренька came in at the window прилетел в окно while the mother was sitting up in the bed admiring him пока мать сидела в кровати любуясь им The queen kissed the child, королева поцеловала ребенка, and giving it the name of Tom Thumb, и дав ему имя Том Палец, sent for some of the fairies, послала за несколькими феями, who dressed her little godson, которые одели ее маленького крестника, according to her orders, согласно ее приказам. Amuse, determined. Merlin was so much amused with the idea of a boy no bigger than a man's thumb that he determined to grant the poor woman's wish. Accordingly, in a short time after, the poor man's wife had a son who, wonderful to relate, was not a bit bigger than his father's thumb. The queen of the fairies, uh, wishing to see the little fellow, came in at the window While the mother was sitting up in the bed admiring him, the queen kissed the child and giving it the name of Tom Thumb, sent for some of the fairies who dressed her little godson according to her orders. An oak leaf hat he had for his crown, шляпа из дубового листа у него была как говной бур, his shirt of web by, by spiders spun, его рубашка из паутины пауками сплетена, with jacket wove of thistles down, с курткой сплетенной из пуха чертополоха. Uh, his trousers were of feathers down, его штаны были из перьев сделаны, his stockings of apple rind they tie, его чулки из яблочной кожуры они связаны. With eyelash from his mother's eye, ресницы из глаз его матери, his shoes were made of mouse's skin, его башмаки были сделаны из машины шкурки, tend with the downy hair within, отделанные пуха внутри, downy, похожий на птичий пух, пушистый, покрытый пухом, down, пух, crown, span, thistle, an oak leaf hat, He had for his crown his shirt of web by spiders spun with jacket wove of thistles down his trousers way of feathers down his stockings of apple rind they tie with eyelash from his mother's eye his shoes were made of mouse's skin tend with the downy hair within tom never grew any larger Tom так и не никогда вырос хоть немного больше than his father's thumb, чем большой палец его отца, which was only of ordinary size, который был всего лишь обычного размера, but as he got older, но по мере того, как он становился старше, he became very cunning and full of tricks. Он стал очень хитрым и мастером на проделки полным трюков. When he was old enough to play with the boys, 
когда он был взрослый достаточно, чтобы играть с мальчишками, and had lost all his own cherry stones, и проиграл все свои собственные вишневые косточки, камешки, he used to creep into the bags of his uh, playfellows, страница 238. Он залезал в сумки своих товарищей. Fill his pockets, наполнял карманы, and getting out without their noticing him, и выбравшись без того, без того чтобы они его заметили, would again join in the game, снова присоединялся к игре Ordinary. Tom never grew any larger than his father's thumb, which was only of ordinary size, but as he got older, he became very cunning and full of tricks. When he was old enough to play with the boys and had lost all his own cherry stones, he used to creep into the bags of his uh, playfellows fill his pockets and getting out without their noticing him would again join in the game. One day, however, однажды, однако, as he was coming out of a bag of cherry stones, когда он выходил из сумки с вишневыми косточками, where he had been stealing as usual, где он воровал, как обычно, the boy to whom it belonged, мальчи, которому она сумка принадлежала, chance to see him, случился увидеть его. Ah, my little Tommy, мой маленький Tommy, said the boy, so I have caught you stealing my cherry stones at last. Так я поймал тебя, крадущий мои вишневые косточки, наконец, and you shall be rewarded for your th- Thievish trick, и ты будешь награжден за твои воровские фокусы. On saying this, сказав это, he drew the herring tight round his neck. Он, зати... он затянул цепочку туго вокруг его шеи and gave the bag such a hearty shake и дал сумке такую сильную сердечную стряску. That poor little Tom's, что бедного маленького Тома, Legs, thighs, and body, ноги, бедра и тело, were sadly bruised, были ужасно, прискорбно ушиблены. He rode out with pain, он злил от боли, and begged to be let out, и попросил быть выпущенным. Страница 239. Чтобы его выпустили, promising never to steal again, обещая никогда не красть снова. Reward, thievish. One day, however, as he was coming out of a bag of cherry stones, where he had been stealing as usual, the boy to whom it belonged chanced to see him. Ah, my little Tommy, said the boy, so I have caught you stealing my cherry stones at last, and you shall be rewarded for your thievish trick. On saying this, he drew the herring tie tied round his neck and gave the bag such a hearty shake that poor little Tom's legs, thighs and body were sadly bruised. He rode out with pain and begged to be let out, promising never to steal again. A short time afterwards, короткое время спустя, his mother was making a better pudding, его мать делала дрожжевой пудинг, And Tom, being very anxious to see how it was made, и Том, будучи очень любопытным, беспокойным увидеть, как он делся, climbed up to the edge of the barrel, забрался на край миски, but his foot slipped, но его нога соскользнула, and he plumped over head and ears into the batter, и он шлепнулся вверх ногами через голову и уши взбитое те- тесто, Better, взбитое жидкое тесто, without his mother noticing him, без того, чтобы мать заметила его, а мать его не заметила, who stood him into the pudding bag, которая помешала его в, миски, в мешке для пудинга, and put him in the pot to boil, и поставила его в горшок вскипеть. Страница 240. 
The better filled Tom's mouth тесто наполнило рот Тома and prevented him from crying и помешал ему крикнуть, то prevent – предотвращать, предупреждать. But on feeling the hot water, но чувство горячую воду, he kicked and struggled so much in the pot, он легался и боролся, дергался так много в горшке, that his mother thought that the pudding was bewitched, что его мать подумала, что пудинг был заколдован, and putting it out of the pot, и вытащив его из горшка, she threw it outside the door, она выбросила его за дверь, to throw, бросать, anxious, prevent. A short time afterwards, his mother was making a better pudding, and Tom, being very anxious to see how it was made, climbed up to the edge of the barrel, but his foot slipped and he plumped over head and ears into the batter without his mother noticing him, who stood him into the pudding bag and put him in the pot to boil. The batter filled Tom's mouth and prevented him from crying, but on feeling the hot water he kicked and struggled so much in the pot that his mother thought that the pudding was bewitched, and putting it out of the pot she threw it outside the door. A poor tinker, biedny ludzichik, who was passing by, который проходил мимо, lifted up the pudding, поднял pudding, and putting it into his budget и положив его в свою сумку, he then, then walked off on the team show approach. As Tom had now got his mouth cleared of the batter, так как Tom теперь прочистил свой рот от теста, у него рот был прочищенным, he then began to cry aloud. Страница 241. Он тогда начал кричать вслух which so frightened the tinker, что так напугало удильчика, that he flung down the pudding, что он швырнул вниз пудинг, to fling, uh, метать, швырять, and ran away, и убежал прочь, to run, бежать, the pudding being broke to pieces by the fall, пудинг, будучи разбитым на кусочки падения, так как пудинг раскололся от падения на кусочки, Broke, архаически, отbroken. Tom crept out. Tom выпал снаружи. To creep, ползти. Covered all over with the batter. Покрытый с ног до головы. Весь по поверхности тестом. And walked home и побрел домой. His mother, who was very sorry to see her darling in such a awful state. Его мать, которая была очень огорчена увидеть своего любимца в таком горестном состоянии, Put him into a teacup, положил его в чайную чашку, and soon washed off the batter. И скоро смыла прочь тесто, after which she kissed him, после чего она поцеловала его, and laid him in bed и уложила его в кровать, to lay class budget waffle. A poor tinker who was passing by lifted up the pudding, and putting it into his budget, he then walked off. As Tom had now got his mouth cleared of the batter, he then began to cry aloud, which so frightened the tinker that he flung down the pudding and ran away. The pudding being broke to pieces by the fall, Tom crept out covered all over with the batter and walked home. His mother, who was very sorry to see her darling in such a awful state, put him into a teacup and soon washed off the batter, after which she kissed him and laid him in bed. Soon after the adventure of the pudding, вскоре после приключения с пудингом, Tom's mother went to milk. Страница 242. Her cow, my Toma, пошла подаить свою корову in the middle, на лугу, and she took him along with her, и она взяла его с собой. As the wind was very high, так как ветер был очень сильный и высокий, for fear of being blown away, и страха быть сдутым прочь, to blow дуть, she tied him to a thistle, она привязала его к чертополоху, with a piece of fine thread, куском тонкой нити. The cow soon observed Tom's oak leaf hat, 
корова, скоро примите шляпу Тома из листа дуба, дуб лист шляпа, and liking the appearance of it, и полюбив вид ее, так как ей понравился ее вид, то потом взяла, проглотила бедного Тома, and the thistle, и чертополох at one mouthful, за один глоток присест, while the cow was chewing the thistle, Пока корова жевала чертополох, Том was afraid of her great teeth. Том испугался ее больших зубов, which threatened to crush him in pieces, которые угрожали раздробить его в куски. And he rode out, и он взревел as loud as he could, так громко, как он мог. Mother, mother, mama. Where are you, Tommy, my dear Tommy? Где ты, Томми, мой дорогой Томми? Said his mother, сказала его мать. Here, mother. Здесь мама, replied he, ответил он. In the red cow's mouth, во рту рыжей коровы. Adventure appearance. Soon after the adventure of the pudding, Tom's mother went to milk a cow in the middle, and she took him along with him. As the wind was very high for fear of being blown away, She tied him to a thistle with a piece of fine thread. The cow soon observed Tom's oak leaf head, and liking the appearance of it, took poor Tom and the thistle at one mouthful. While the cow was chewing the thistle, Tom was afraid of her great teeth, which threatened to crush him in pieces, and he rode out as loud as he could. Mother, mother, where are you, Tommy, my dear Tommy, said his mother. Here, mother, replied he, in the red cow's mouth. Страница 243. Fortunately, apron furrow. His mother began to cry. Его мать начала плакать and wring her hands. Его мать выкручивает свои руки. But the cow, surprised at the odd noise in her throat, но корова, удивленная странным шумом в ее глотке, opened her mouth, открыла свой рот, and let Tom drop out, и позволила Тому выпасть наружу, выронила Тома. Fortunately, к счастью, his mother caught him in her apron. Его мать поймала его в свой передник, to catch, ловить, as he was falling to the ground, когда он падал на землю, or he would have been dreadfully hurt. Или он был бы ужасно расшиблен, поврежден. She then put Tom in her bosom. Она затем положила Тома за пазуху and ran home with him и побежала домой с ним. Tom's father made him a whip of a barley straw. Отец Тома сделал ему хлыст из ячменной соломинки to drive the cattle with, чтобы погонять скот им to drive, гнать, and having one day gone into the fields, и однажды, уйдя в поля, Tom slipped a foot, Tom поскользнулся, and rode into a furrow, и скатился в колею, a raven, which was flying over, ворон, который летел сверху, picked him up, подобрал его, and flew with him over the sea, и улетел с ним над морем, to fly, летать, And there dropped him, и там уронил его. Fortunately, apron, apron Farrow. Страница 244. His mother began to cry and wring her hands, but the cow, surprised at the odd noise in her throat, opened her mouth and let Tom drop out. Fortunately, his mother caught him in her apron as he was falling to the ground, or he would have been dreadfully hurt. She then put Tom in her bosom and ran home with him. Tom's father made him a whip of a barley straw to drive the cattle with, and having one day gone into the fields, Tom slipped a foot and rode into the furrow. A raven, which was flying over, picked him up and flew with him over the sea, and there dropped him. A large fish swallowed Tom, большая рыба проглотила Тома, the moment he fell into the sea, в момент, когда он упал в море, to fall, падать, which was soon after caught, которая была вскоре после поймана, and bought for the table of King Arthur, и куплена для стола короля Артура, to buy, покупать. 
when they opened the fish, когда они вскрыли рыбу, in order to cook it, чтобы сварить ее, everyone was astonished, все были поражены, каждый был поражен at finding such a little boy, обнаружив такого маленького мальчика, and Tom was delighted, и Том был обрадован, at being free again, быть свободным снова. They carried him to the king, они понесли его королю, who made Tom his dwarf, который сделал Тома своим карликом, and he soon grew a great favorite at court, и он скоро стал большим любимцем при дворе, to grow, расти, становиться, for by his tricks and gambles, ибо своими фокусами и прыжками, he not only amused the king and queen, он не только забавлял короля и королеву, but also all the knights of the round table, но также всех рыцарей круглого стола. It is said, говорят, это есть сказано, that when the king rode out on horseback, что когда король выезжал верхом на лошадиной спине, to ride, ездить верхом, скакать, he often took Tom along with him, он часто брал Тома с собой, and if a shower came on, и если случался ливень, he used to creep into his majesty's waistcoat pocket. Он заползал в жилетный карман его величества, where he slept till the rain was over, где он спал, пока дождь не переставал. Astonish dwarf majesty. A large fish swallowed Tom the moment he fell into the sea, which was soon after caught and bought for the table of King Arthur. When they opened the fish in order to cook it, everyone was astonished at finding such a little boy, and Tom was delighted at being free again. They carried him to the king, who made Tom his dwarf, and he soon grew a great favorite at court, for by his tricks and gambles he not only amused the king and queen, but also all the knights of the round table. It is said that when the king rode out on horseback, he often took Tom along with him, and if a shower came on, he used to creep into his majesty's waistcoat pocket, where he slept till the rain was over. King Arthur one day asked Tom about his parents, Король Артур, однажды спросил Тома и о его родителях, wishing to know if they were as small as he was, желая знать, были ли они такие маленькие, как он был, and whether they were well off, и были ли они богаты. Tom told the king, Tom рассказал королю, that his father and mother were as tall as anybody but the court, что его отец и мать были такие высокие, как кто угодно при дворе. But in rather poor circumstances, но весьма бедных обстоятельствах, но весьма небогатые. On hearing this, услышав это, the king carried Tom to the treasury. Король отнес Тома к сокровищнице, the place he kept all his money, к месту, где он хранил все свои деньги, and told him to take as much money, и сказал ему взять так много денег, as he could carry home to his parents как он мог отнести домой к своим родителям, which made the poor little fellow caper with joy, что заставило бедного маленького паренька прыгать от радости. Tom went immediately to procure a purse. Tom пошел немедленно раздобыть кошелек, which was made of a water bubble, который был сделан из пузыря воды, and then returned to the treasury, и затем вернулся к сокровищнице, where he received, где он получил, a silver three penny piece, серебряную трехпенсовую монету, to put into it, чтобы положить в него, в кошелек, treasury immediately procure. King Arthur one day asked Tom about his parents, wishing to know if they were as small as he was, and whether they were well off. Tom told the king that his father and mother were as tall as anybody about the court, but in rather poor circumstances. On hearing this, the king carried Tom to the treasury, the place where he kept all his money, and told him to take as much money as he could carry home to his parents, 
which made the poor little fellow caper with joy, Tom went immediately to procure a purse which was made of a water bubble, and then returned to the treasury where he received a silver three-penny piece to put into it. Страница 247 Our little hero, наш маленький герой, had some difficulty, испытал некоторую сложность in lifting the burden upon his back в поднимании ношен с спину, but he at last succeeded, но он наконец преуспел, in getting it placed to his mind, помещение ее по своему намерению, поместить ее так, как он хотел, and set forward on his journey, и отправился в свое путешествие. However, однако, without meeting with any accident, не встретившись с каким-либо происшествием, and after resting himself, и после того, как он отдохнул, more than a hundred times by the way, больше чем сто раз по пути, in two days and two nights, через два дня и две ночи, he reached his father's house in safety, он достиг дома своего отца в сохранности живым и невредимым, Tom had traveled 48 hours. Tom путешествовал 48 часов with a huge silver piece on his back с огромной серебряной монетой на спине and was almost tired to death и был почти усталый до смерти when his mother ran out to meet him когда его мать выбежала наружу, чтобы встретить его and carried him into the house и отнесла его в дом but he soon returned to court, но он скоро вернулся к двору. Difficulty succeed accident. Our little hero had some difficulty in lifting the burden upon his back, but he at last succeeded in getting it placed to his mind and set forward on his journey, however, without meeting with any accident, and after resting himself more than a hundred times by the way, in two days and two nights he reached his father's house in safety. Tom had traveled 48 hours with a huge silver piece on his back and was almost tired to death when his mother ran out to meet him and carried him into the house, but he soon returned to court. As Tom's brothers had suffered much in the better pudding, так как одежда Тома пострадала сильно много в дрожжевом пудинге, and the inside of the fish и внутренностях рыбы, his majesty ordered him a new suit of clothes. Его величество заказал ему новый комплект одежды. And to be mounted as a knight on a horse, и чтобы быть посаженным, как рыцарь на мышь. Of butterflies' wings his shirt was made, из крыльев бабочки его рубаха была сделана, his boots of chicken's hide, его башмаки из куриной кожи, and by a nimble fairy blade и проворным волшебным лезвием, well learned in the tailoring trade, хорошо ученый в портновском деле, his clothing was supplied, его одежда была поставлена дана, to supply, снабжать, a needle dangled by his side, иголка болталась у его бока, a dapper mouse he used to ride, на юркая мышь он ездил, thus strutted Tom in stately pride. In stately pride, так выступал Том в величественной гордости. Clothes butterfly. As Tom's clothes had suffered much in the better, pu better pudding and the inside of the fish, his majesty ordered him a new suit of clothes and to be mounted as a knight on a mouse, Stranis 249. Of butterflies wings his shirt was made, his boots of chickens hide, and by a nimble fairy blade, well learned in the tailoring trade, his clothing was supplied, a needle dangled by his side, a dapper mouse he used to ride, thus trotted Tom in stately pride. It was certainly very diverting. Это было точно очень развлекательно, забавно. To see Tom in this dress, видеть Тома в этой одежде, 
and mounted on the mouse Eve's grandma Zishevasya na mish as he rode out a hunting cock down with Ja na hutu ahutes with the king and nobility is Karalyom is Natyu who were all ready to expire with laughter которые были все готовы умереть от смеха, то есть спая, выдыхать, угасать и спустить последний вздох, скончаться. И Том и his find prancing charger, вызванного Томом и его превосходным горцующим скакуном. Certainly nobility prancing. It was certainly very diverting to see Tom in this dress and mounted on the mouse as he rode out a hunting with the king and nobility who were all ready to expire with laughter at Tom and his fine prancing charger. Uh, the king was so charmed with his address, uh, Karol Butakachirovan Yivo Abhajdinya, that he ordered a little chair to be made, Shton Prikazal Shtobizioli Malinki Stu, in order that Tom might sit upon his table чтобы Том мог сидеть на его столе, and also a palace of gold, а также дворец из золота, a span high, в одну пять высотой, with a door an inch high, in the, an inch wide, с дверью в один дюйм шириной, to live in, чтобы жить там. He also gave him a coach. Он также дал ему карету, drawn by six small mice, движимую, запряженную шестью маленькими мышами. The queen was so enraged at the honors conferred on Sir Thomas. Королева была так разъярена почестями, оказанными сэру Томасу. Rage, гнев, ярость, сравнить ража. That she resolved to ruin him, что она решила погубить его. And told the king that the little knight had been saucy to her. И сказал королю, что маленький рыцарь был дерзок с ней. Сос, соус, дерзость, наглость, нахальство. And dress, saucy. The king was so charmed with his address that he ordered a little chair to be made in order that Tom might sit upon his table. And also a palace of gold, a span high with a door an inch wide to live in. He also gave him a couch drawn by six small mice the queen was so enraged at the honors conferred on sir thomas that she resolved to ruin him and told the king that the little knight had been saucy to him the king sent for tom in great haste carol passed the tomom velika spieshki but being fully aware of the danger of royal anger но будучи полностью осведомлен об опасности королевского гнева, he crept into an empty snail shell. Он заполз в пустую улиточную раковину. Страница 251. Where he lay for a long time, где он лежал в течение долгого времени, until he was almost starved with hunger, пока он не был почти заморен голодом, But at last he ventured to peep out, но наконец он отважился выглянуть украдкой наружу, and seeing a fine large butterfly on the ground, и видя прекрасную большую бабочку на земле, near the place of his concealment, влез в место его укрытия, to conceal, укрывать, прятать, he got close to it, он подобрался близко к ней, and jumping astride on it, и прыгнув верхом на нее, was carried up into the air, был унесен вверх в воздух. The butterfly flew with him from tree to tree. Бабочка перелетала с ним от дерева к дереву, to fly, летать, and from field to field, и от поля к полю, and at last returned to the court, и наконец вернулась к двору, where the king and nobility all strove to catch him, где король и знать все старались поймать его, to strive, стараться, But at last poor Tom fell from his seat, но наконец бедный Том упал со своего сиденья into a watering pot, в лейку to water поливать под горшок, in which he was almost drowned, в которой он почти утонул, чуть не утонул. Venture, concealment. The king sent for Tom in great haste, but being fully aware of the danger of royal anger, he crept into an empty snail shed, 
where he lay for a long time until he was almost starved with hunger, but at last he ventured to peep out and seeing a fine large butterfly on the ground near the place of his concealment, he got close to it and jumping astride on it was carried up into the air. The butterfly flew with him from tree to tree and from field to field, and at last returned to them. Stranis 252 caught where the king and nobility all strove to catch him, but at last poor Tom fell from his seat into a watering pot in which he was almost drowned. When the king saw him, когда королева увидела его, she was in a rage, она была в ярости, and said he should be beheaded, и сказала, что он должен быть обезглавлен, and he was put into a mouse trap, и он был посажен в мышеловку, until the time of his execution, до времени его казни. However, a cat observing something alive in the trap, однако кот, увидев что-то живое в ловушке, Petted it about, трогал, бил его ее лапой, to pet, похлопывать, поглаживать, шлепать, till the, till the wires broke, пока проволока не сломалась, to break, ломать, ломаться, and set Thomas at liberty, и выпустил Томаса на свободу. The king received Tom again into favor, король принял Тома снова в милость, which he did not live to enjoy, чем ему так и не довелось насадиться, for a large spider one day attacked him, ибо большой паук однажды напал на него, and although he drew his sword and fought well, и хотя он вытащил свой меч и сражался хорошо, yet the spider's poisonous breath at last overcame him, все же паучье ядовое дыхание наконец сломило его, Poison yet. He fell dead on the ground where he stood on a pal Mertum na Zemluk Dion Stayal, and the spider sucked every drop of his blood, I Pauk Vizasal Kajdu Kapli Vokrovi. Behead poisonous. Stranitsa Dissipisatri. When the queen saw him, she was in a rage and said he should be beheaded. And he was put into a mouse trap until the time of his execution. However, a cat observing something alive in the trap patted it about till the wires broke and set Thomas at liberty. The king received Tom again into favor, which he did not leave to enjoy, for a light spider one day attacked him, and although he drew his sword and fought well, Yet the spider's poisonous breath at last overcame him. He fell dead on the ground where he stood, and the spider sucked every drop of his blood. King Arthur and his whole court, Karol Artur and Ivovis Dvor, were so sorry, были так огорчены at the loss of their little favorite потери их любимого, их маленького любимца, that they went into mourning, что они впали в скорбь, плач, траур, and raised a fine white marble monument и воздвигли прекрасный белый мраморный памятник over his grave with the following epitaph над его могилой со следующей эпитафией Here lies Tom Thumb, King Arthur's Knight. Здесь лежит Том Палец, рыцарь короля Артура, who died by a spider's cruel bite, который умер от паучьего жестокого укуса. He was well known in Arthur's court. Он был хорошо известен при Артуреве дворе, where he afforded gallant sport. Где он предлагал показывать доблестные развлечения свое мастерство. He rode a tilt and tournament. Он ездил в бою на копьях и турнире. To ride, ездить верхом. Tilt, наклон, наклонное положение, нападение всадника с копьем на перевес. And on a mouse the hunting went, и верхом на мыши на охоту ходил. Alive he filled the court with mirth, живой при жизни он наполнял двор весельем. His death to sorrow soon gave birth, его смерть грусти скоро дала рождение. Wipe, wipe your eyes and shake your head, вытрите, вытрите ваши глаза и покачайте вашей головой. 
and cry alas Tom Thumb is dead и плачьте увы Том Палец мертв Morning Monument Epitaph King Arthur and his whole court were so sorry at the loss of their little favorite that they went into mourning and raised a fine white marble monument over his grave with the following epitaph Here lies Tom Thumb, King Arthur's knight who died by a spider's cruel bite. He was well known in Arthur's court, where he afforded gallant sport. He rode a tilt and tournament, and on a mouse a hunting went. Alive he filled the court with mirth, his death to sorrow soon gave birth. Wipe, wipe your eyes and shake your head, and cry, alas, Tom Thumb is dead.